Actually, Crazy Brown is played by Mr. David Mann, who has worked with me for about eight years now, he and his wife, Tam, who plays Cora. And uh, you'll know him from all of the Medea shows and the Meet the Brown plays. So I think a lot of people are excited for him to get this opportunity. <laughs> You slap your dick out and whoop your butt. We've pretty much done everything together. It's kind of like known, but not known that we're like a like a package. We've been in this industry. We started in 91, 92 together, singing with Kirk Franklin and the family, and then now with Tyler Perry. And it just kind of seems the right thing to do with, with us two being together. 19 years, that's a long time, for one. And uh, that's without any separations. I like saying that. Let me introduce you to your granddaddy. Mm. He did. She told Tyler, I'll never act. I'll sing for you all day, and I'll never act. So he said, well, hey, man, just get it together. To watch her grow from telling me she's not an actor to being in a movie and saying lines is huge. It's, I mean, it's a huge miracle, and I'm really, really excited for both of them. It's going to be all right, Mr. Brown. Carl Rogers, right. take the wheel. I want you to look at the road, Mr. Brown. Look at the wheel. Working with David is... Um, it's great because he's my best friend, so it's like we never have a dull moment at home. So on film, it just kind of magnifies. Yeah. Curry, your mama on that stuff. She on that stuff. I've been trying to tell you your mama's on that PPD. He tickles me. I just laugh at him a lot. So it's like I'm always laughing at whatever he says. <laughs> <laughs> She'll come to me and say, hey, pull it back, or hey, you know, try this, remember when you did this? She, you know, we're both helping each other, and I'll say, hey, kind of word it this way or do it that way. And we, you know, we're just always trying to make sure that each other knows what's going on. That ain't funny, I got lead parts on, on my privacy. You know, she'll tell me, no, that's a mess, what are you doing? It's, I, and I need that. Everybody needs that person to hold them accountable. Because like I said, I can just, <laughs> before you know it, I'm in the middle of the ocean looking like, how do I get back? You know, so she'll keep me from going too far. He is so phenomenal, and he is so off the cuff, and he is so spontaneous, and um, he brings that all to bear in this movie. Bro, Sam, you read the last will and testicles. There's no one doing the level of comedy that he's doing today. He is truly of a one-of-a-kind, unique, talented actor. Oh, this is your cousin, Will. Uh, he a doctor. He's a gunnery ecologist. Oh. A gynecologist. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice same, to meet same you. Same thing. It's good to see that they have a really positive and functional working relationship. They're the sweetest couple you'll ever meet. Their love and support of each other is very evident. God is at the forefront of their lives and of their careers, and you see that. I'm a Christian. My wife's a Christian. We're both very, you know, deep into our, you know, Christianity. And uh, we pray before we go on, and we'll just, you know, our, our whole thing is to God be the glory before we get ready to go on. Working with my husband is a joy because it's something I've always prayed for and wanted to happen, and it just makes it easier. If it's in a constipation, I love you. Their communication is almost telepathic. I mean, they know each other's rhythms, and they know each other's comedy, and... I mean, while we are laughing, they are able to stay in the scene and stay in character. Clever, don't go gospel gangster on the baby. Just relax. That shit ain't Vera. What? She ain't no any of mine acting like that. They have been wonderful to work with. I think it's really kind of like a real cool, laid back, and fun family environment here. And uh, and Dave and Tamil are a big, a big part of that. Don't do I'm it. I'm a cuss don't do it. You no. punk! Oh, oh, that's the... that's oh. it. <laughs> Forgive me, Lord, if I have cussed. The great thing about working with David and Tamla Mann is that they genuinely love each other, and they have shown me over and over and over again what a true relationship should be like. And if I can't have what they have, I don't want to get married. Oh, hey. Oh. Come on in. Come on in, Sway. For those of you that, you know, uh, want to see us behind the scenes, behind the camera, all the good action. This is where it really takes place. All the good action. All the good, good action. <laughs> off the stage, off the, you know, all of that. Welcome to the man's. And Tamala and I, we're gonna share a little recipe that Tamala put together for the family. It's one of our favorites. It's, uh, tell them what it is. It's chicken enchiladas, now, my style. This recipe is what put the fat on me for Meet the Browns. <laughs> Our parents used to sing together years and years ago, and we kind of moved away, parted ways, and then my best friend was going to high school with him, to make a long story short. So what happened is my friend 
Nicole, actually, uh, was, again, was in the choir with them. And um, we had a little singing group. I'm gonna have to interrupt it because she's not gonna tell it right. So, we had a singing group and we were singing. It was right. myself and a couple other friends. And we were singing, and her she friend was like, She said that I could sing. She knew someone that could sing better than that. That ain't the way it went down. <laughs> the way it really went down, she said it with an attitude. I got a friend that can I sing all of y'all. Did she say it with attitude? Yeah, she kind of had an attitude, like somebody oh, wow. she knew could blow I wasn't us there, out so I don't know about that part. But you so go ahead. she arranged it, so I came to like a rehearsal that they were having in the choir room at their school. So and I know, went. So we we were in there doing our little three part harmony stuff. Me me me, doing our thing. And she walks in and and I just listened. And then they asked me to sing something, and I just sang something. And she then, tried to say it like she just you know, and I just sing something. But I did. No, she came in and had I did. the. I just sang a little something. She had microphone mouth. Face. So is that when you knew she was the one? No, like shoot. So I was a player. I was a. <laughs> That's how we met. Yeah. Now how we got together, and we was, we were, the oldest of like a little crew we were with. Yeah, it was like a, young, a youth choir that we had called Youth on the Move at the time. Going. So we were riding in the car, and and uh, I don't know how it happened, but I'm a gentleman, and this is, I'm, wait a minute, I just get choked up. Wait. Okay. We were riding in the car, and, and for some reason we got into dating, and how you supposed to kiss. How are you supposed to kiss someone? And uh, and how did she wind up with me? She somehow made her way over to me. So we um we kissed I, in no, the car. No, that ain't the way it went. She turned around to me and looked at me. You know how you can tell when somebody looking at you they want to kiss. Well, she turned and looked, and she did like this. No, he. Yes. No, he. he you started with like a smack on the cheek. He was like. It's real intimate. You start slow, you kiss on the cheek, then he kissed me on my forehead. Then I kissed on the lips. lips. Now what I didn't do is I didn't put nobody's tongue in my mouth. <laughs> she stuck, and I was a gentleman, so I just was like, went on and did it. But what happened was, and this just shakes me up every time, I turned around to do it to kiss her again, and this girl stuck her tongue in my mouth. And I was looking like, you nut, but I didn't want to sell her out, because I'm a gentleman. She got out of the car, and her apartment had like a little sidewalk and she'd get to her apartment. It was like a ways to the apartment. Deep. See, that's why you know I'm telling the truth when I but say that. But it was not. He's about to say that I skipped to my she apartment. She skipped all the way to her apartment. That's how happy she was about this kiss. But that's not true. I walked to the apartment. But and skipped halfway, because she just tell me you like to kiss. Yeah, I do. I rest my case. Go ahead, audience. This is called concoction. He don't know. Then you put a little bit of this on there. This makes sure it's all get cooked in really good and stays moist for you. Put okay. Little... Then you just take. Really, you can just kind of put it anyway. Just slide. But for your new cooks, you never pour high. You pour low, so stuff won't splash everywhere. Why are you gonna try? Oh, she tried to call <laughs> me out, didn't she? <laughs> I'm the master cook. Whatever. The success of it and then having children has been wonderful, being parents. I mean, for the lifestyle sometimes makes it hard to be away, especially when they have things going on and we miss them, but. Because people are not, we're on the road sometimes eight months out of the year. Yeah, so it's. And that's a, that's a lot to be gone. A lot of time out, but it's been wild. <laughs> I had to tell one of, one of my kids one time, some parents work downtown. That baby girl asked, she was We like, work out of town. <laughs> she was like, why do you have to work out of town? So, That's what I, I told mean, her. Some people, you know, this is, this is what we do. We have three girls and one boy. And I have them come in and I kind of say, I need you to do this. She kinda direct them and they sit and look like do. this. I kind of delegate on what them do and kind of coaching them on, since everybody's getting older now, so they can prepare meals. But we sit around and eat, but dinner time or eating is really fun for us because we just go back on different meals. We'll memories. reminisce, like sometimes we'll go out to dinner and just sit around for hours. We'll be finished eating yes. and just sit around the table for hours and just, remember, right. you remember when? You remember but, when we did this? So that's that's kind of a fun thing for us too. Yes, but I just think it's good for family to sit and eat together because you really get to commune and find out what's going on. And we've, the we've day had a few week. meals. We've had some yeah, meals. We've... Yes. <laughs> We've grown. That's like the most asked question is how do you all work together? We genuinely enjoy each other's company. company. So I it, make, would, 
I would rather hang out with her than anybody, than anybody else. And we genuinely enjoy each other's company. So it's And it sounds so far fetched. I mean, you know, it's like I can't believe somebody can be together. That's one thing that Tyler used to say. I was like, oh, how do you guys eat together, together, sleep together, you work together? It was like a joke on the set. Always together. Everything is everything like, is together, but it just it's really something that I really prayed for, that I was hoping for, so I wouldn't have to be searching for, like, you know, it's good. Sometimes we do have our getaway time that he runs. I don't. Errands. Well, I do that. I, I stay in the take, house. I take a little time for myself, but for the most part, we're together at all times. We do everything together, and it's like even in our local area, if if one if you see one, you usually More than likely you'll see, see the him. other. I ain't took my uncle over. Don't ask me. The devil is a lie. I'm about to go home. <laughs> yeah, we got. That's a wrap.